Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where today we are going to be making a very quick and simple, easy to make uh, cheese rolls or cheesy bites, whatever you want to call them. I've got 500 grams of flour, just your average flour, ordinary all-purpose flour, which is roughly about um, three and a half cups of flour. And then I've got one cup of yogurt. I'm going to put that right in there. These are so simple to make. And if you're already following me, you know that I'm not a precise person. So hey ho, as long as you can get all the flavours in there, you're fine. You'll be fine. Scrape that in a minute. And then we need some salt. So a teaspoon of salt. I've got two eggs, but I'm going to be taking, um, keeping one of the egg yolks behind to use to brush on top. Right, that's my egg yolk. And now for the second egg, go right in it. Quick, easy, very simple, very tasty. Ideal to get your kids involved, honestly. And then I've got... Uh, less than half a cup of glass of um, vegetable oil and then baking powder. Yes, a teaspoon of baking powder or one of these little packets. Baking powder all in there and now give it a mix first with a spoon and then start working with, with your hands. So let's give it all a good mix. Okay, once you've started um, mixing it with your hands, uh, let's get this egg yolk out of the way, get these out of the way. I've got 400 grams of cheddar cheese here. I've just grated 400 grams of cheddar cheese. Now, this is what I want in my little uh, mini rolls or bread rolls, bread sticks, whatever you want to call it. But hey-ho, you just go ahead and put whatever you like in yours. I mean, you know, if your child likes sweet corn, make it a sweet corn um, little pastry dough. So just go ahead and add whatever it is that you like. You can make it cheese and onion. I do sometimes make this with cheese and spring onions as well. It goes quite nice. So just go ahead now and work this cheese into it. Now if it's too dry, just add a drop of milk. If it's too wet, just add a drop of um. Uh, you know, a little bit more flour into it. But it normally turns out right. So just go ahead and work this ingredients, whatever ingredient you're going to be using, into your dough. Okay, I didn't have to add any other ingredients into uh, mine. But like I said, you just want to get a dough that um, it's not sticking to your hand. If it is too sticky, just add a little bit of flour. If it's too wet, um, a bit of flour will sort of that and if it's too dry then a little drop of milk and by the way if you haven't got yogurt and you want to use milk by all means you can do it's your dough once you get your dough ready like this then you just make it into any shapes get the kids involved get them to make their own shapes you can either make circle ones like this or you can make them a long oblong you know, whatever shapes you want. You can just make them into little breadsticks like so. Or if you want, go ahead and do them longer and make a circle out of it. So just um, making it like that. Or roll it out and get the kids to make their own shape. So it's fun. So now go ahead and just make your shapes. And then place it into a baking tray that's been greased or you've got grease proof paper or uh, one of those baking sheets so just go ahead and make your shapes that you you want once you've made your um shapes go ahead and whisk your egg i'm just going to add a drop of uh milk into mine so it's just a little drop of milk So I've got my tray here 
with a baking uh, sheet on it. Just going to go ahead and put my preheated oven at 175 degrees, uh, roughly about 20 minutes until they go golden really on top. So let's brush our the ones we put them on. Just go ahead and brush them. And if you want, it's up to you. You can either leave them like this or you can put some sesame seeds or poppy seeds. Well, I do love my poppy seeds, so I'm probably going to go ahead and put some poppy seeds on mine. Well, I've got 15 out of that measurement, so I'm just going to brush them all. You can leave yours uh, plain, or you can add some sesame seeds or the poppy seeds. I like to have some poppy seeds on mine, so bit of poppy seeds. My oven's ready at 175 degrees until they're lovely golden on top, roughly about 20 minutes. There we are, all ready to go in the oven. And voila, 20 minutes later, they come out perfect. So here we are, our very simple, simple cheesy rolls done in 20 minutes. Uh, five minutes to put it all together. You know, under 30 minutes you've got yourself a nice little snack, breakfast rolls, pat lunch boxes, tea time, lunch time, anything you like. Make them smaller and they call them cheesy bites, um, ideal for buffets. Make them this size for packed lunches and make them larger to make sandwiches. At the end of the day, they are delicious. Well, I suppose you could make it sandwiches, like um, if you slice it this way, hot, and then you got all that cheesy bit, you see. Make a sandwich or grill them. Put um, butter on them while they're hot. Absolutely delicious, no matter how you have them. I hope you give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Lovely, soft, cheesy, mini bread rolls. Mm. Delicious. Until next time, guys. Take care. Bye for now. Mmm, lovely.